Welcome back, everyone. Okay, this is what we're going to do here. We have another new important update, um, this time from BB, who is the main developer and main programmer himself. So that's great to see that he was in the chat today. He was giving some updates. I'm about to share that with all of you. Very important. I feel like we are at the finish line. We are finally there. I feel like we're on the one yard line, about to punch it into the end zone um, for the win. So hopefully you and uh, people who do not follow football and follow the reference. Before we do, of course, though, one of the things I want to do here is just please ask everyone. I'm super appreciative getting up to 221 subscribers. Thank you for each and every one of you. I want to make sure I always bring value to you and everyone else who comes across these videos and timely information and insight to help you in your DeFi journey, uh, especially right now with the animal farm and piggy bank, etc. and drip and every other thing going forward. Um, so I need to ask, of course, please, if you feel this is value, please definitely hit the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm get this out to more people to share it. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. My goal initially here is to get to 1,000 subscribers and to, like I said, document my journey with all the things in uh, crypto and DeFi, which right now is where we are with the NFL. And of course, bring value to all of you and insight and give you guys great information. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Do your own research. So now that I've covered my disclaimers, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, what I'm going to do here is I want to go right to it. Um, hopefully, you'll see how this won't be too long. And I want to go straight to Telegram and get into it. So, I saw there was something from BB today, so I went in and showed it. So, just like I showed some of you the other day of how to find certain different people. And again, just to reiterate, in case someone needs any information or help, um, Forex Shark with the underscore and the four for the A. That is the main Forex account. Okay, so his last update was as of yesterday, Monday. However, his partner, BB, had some updates today. So we type in BB, BB Best123, this is the only correct account. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down for everything and look at this, there's even some more updates that came in from now. So even better, I haven't even read these yet, so we're gonna read some of these live, that's even better. Okay, so first, all right, everyone, update time. There will be a new UI deployed in the next 24 to 48 hours where you can submit your PIGs, PIGs BUSD, or PIGs wrapped with BNB LP to accrediting a contract. Users in the PIG pen need to withdraw all PIGs and submit PIGs to crediting contract. Tokens sent directly to contract will not be credited. Um, so what that means is don't try to send it on your own to the contract address, only do it through the Animal Farm UI. There's going to be an update. There's going to be somewhere where you go. You literally send your tokens in. If you don't do it through the website, you will not be credited. You will lose those picks. So do not do anything other than straight from the Animal Farm user interface. Only use the site. So use the UI or con so use the UI or contract functions only. Don't get scammed. Use official website only. There's going to be a ton of people in chats, in Discord, and everything else trying to scam people to send your tokens here, pretending to be Forex, pretending to be BB, and steal your pigs that they can themselves then go and swap. So don't get scammed. Just do as the instructions come as it is, comes forward. Withdraw your pigs from the pig pen. If you already have them sitting in your wallet, this is how it's going to work. You'll get instructions, but basically, you're going to have to do it through only through the UI is how we're going to submit those and how you're going to get credit. Now, another update, you will not receive any pigs V2 at the moment. And you can't, you cannot, no, let's say cannot, can't buy, sell, add, remove liquidity from pigs. So you're going to send them in, but you're not going to get an immediate credit. So people, so people don't freak out. It starts out wondering what's going on. Okay, you will not receive any pigs V2 at the moment. The crediting phase will last a few days, so there's no rush or first-come, first-served situation. That's what FCFS, okay? No first-come, first-served. So the crediting phase took a couple of days. Once the crediting phase has been completed, capital will be migrated from PIGS to PIGS V2. After that, users will be able to claim PIGS V2, PIGS V2 BUSD LP tokens, and PIGS V2 wrap BNB LP accordingly. 
So you'll be able to claim them once all the um, in migrate, basically all the funds are there. Users in the pig pen will receive pigs v2 via the new pig pen according to the snapshot taken. So my understanding of what Forex has said before is you won't have to do anything. If your pigs are currently staked in the pig pen, you take them out, you send them via the, the user interface, the UI, the site to, to them, and they will credit you with the new pigs in the pig pen for you on your own, is my understanding. Additional details to follow. Side note, again, don't fall for scams or people DMing you. There is no pigs v2, and you will only get official updates here. So no, there's no one's going to DM you. They may send you a direct message. It's fake. Anybody else reaches out to you, it's fake. They're a scammer. I get them every single day from Drip Network and from the Animal Farm and all these other things. So just to give you an idea on that, okay? So now let's go back. Let's go to the next one. What about the other farms? The dogs' farms remain paused until V2 launch. They have to be because any other farm that mints dogs Dogs are used to mint pigs, so they have to all go together, and everything has to wait until the pigs V2 is up, running, um, liquidity is there, piggy bank, etc. That is the reason behind it, so somebody can understand. All right, next one. Piggy bank details to follow up later. The last part, you mentioned the piggy bank, not pig pen. Someone asked, when is the V2 launch? No exact date, but shortly after the crediting phase. If we're going to be able to credit starting hopefully tomorrow, it's Wednesday, might give a day or two, let's say Friday, I assume over the weekend. My personal guess is Monday. This is just my personal guess going through my own progression of time. I'll give you Wednesday to Friday to send them in, give people credit at back, turn everything back on, get everybody credited at Piglets Monday, turn on the, you know, turn up the switches back on um, for everything on Monday. But again, this is just only my guess. I have no personal info. I have no personal insight. I'm not an insider. This is just my thinking along how things have gone before. Okay. So someone asked, so when you withdraw, can we withdraw and use contract to swap? Blah, blah, blah. So when the new UI goes live, pigs will be unpaused and the crediting phase starts. So as soon as they unpause it, you go in, withdraw your pigs or if they're in your wallet, use through the UI, send them in, submit it through the site only to get your credit back. Let's go to the next one. What happens to the pigs? Now, this is, I understand, might be not people want to hear, but this is what it is. So, you might be asking, what happens with the pigs people have earned or that are sitting there unclaimed? The multipliers were set to zero, so no pigs will be earned. There is no win-win situation on this case. So, we need to do what is best for the long-term vision. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, again... What he's saying here is that, unfortunately, anything that was sitting there unclean, my understanding is, and I think there's another post here, um, we're not going to get anything for. We're just going to send in our pigs sitting in our wallet or pigs BUSD LP tokens or whichever LP you may have, or if they're in the pig pen. Those are the only things that are being sent in to be swapped for, okay? But anything that you've earned or any other future emissions, there, there is none at this moment. And BB says, unfortunately, we can't. So since we're about the pigs earned up to the snapshot. So again, any pigs you earn up to the snapshot that were sitting there unclaimed is what somebody's asking about. Again, BB says, unfortunately, we can't credit those as it gives the snipers a chance to claim obscene amount of pigs. So anytime they allow someone to do any kind of claiming or pulling something out, there are scripts out there that are going to look to basically steal the liquidity and dump on the market. So, and it makes the new process extremely complex. So that is where we are with that. Okay, no, it's not the best news we want to hear. No, it's not what we want to know. But again, we're moving somewhere towards progress. And I'll be honest with you, the piggy bank that works the way I expect it to work. And I have a strategy. Someone reached out to me about sharing that. I will share it separately in another video once we get a little more clarity. Or maybe as we're swapping and waiting for it to turn back on, it'd be the perfect time to do that. But in 90 to 180 days, next three to six months, if things turn out the way I expect them to turn out and they do what I expect just mathematically using a spreadsheet and a little strategy or something I thought that I want to do, it's not going to matter. It's really, really not going to matter. If you're in the piggy bank, it is not going to matter. You're going to look back and go, man, that sucked, but you know what? I am banking right now. So that's just something to consider, okay? 
And someone said, I'll probably get crucified for asking this, but there's a lot of negative emotions. It'd be great if you can um, basically, you know, flying around, nothing to be done. You know, people, what can we do to stop a descent, desensitize? He incentivized, I'm going to speak properly, a mass sell off of pigs and dogs and things like that. So what BB basically responded was, understand, but it's foolish short-sightedness. And that's exactly what I just said. That is short-sightedness. Yes, it sucks and I'm not happy. But at the end of the day, I believe in the next few months, it's not going to matter. Buybacks, partnerships, vault, lottery, all coming up right after this. And there's still 2.7 million Okay, in the BUSD LP rewards um, for that as well. So lots and lots of great things right here to come for. And that's all I expect to happen. Um, I really think that this is gonna be some great, you know, great stuff coming forward. Okay. Let's go next. Do we have a time limit to do this? There will be a few days grace period. That's again why I say if it happens tomorrow, I expect it to be tomorrow through Friday. That's just my opinion. Okay, dogs will, will dogs continue to be paused in the time or can we trade? Dogs will be paused to pigs be to go live. So yes, I was saying because of course dogs meant pigs. Other farms, pools meant dogs, but dogs in turn meant pigs. We can't have them minting anything and need emissions off because that throws everything off right now until this conversion happens. So that's where we are in that respect again, just reiterating. Another 48 hours and the 48 So he's saying, listen, people are getting upset. Of course, people are losing their patience. I get it. You know, a lot of time has passed by. But he's saying, you know, just thumbs down. Like, I get it, but hold on. Okay. Then he said, I'm around for another 15 minutes or so to answer questions. And then I will see everyone tomorrow for the next phase. So right here, look, he just said it. I am around for the next 15 minutes to answer some questions. But then I will see everyone tomorrow for the next phase. But he's saying tomorrow. So tomorrow, hopefully, we're unpaused and start sending them in and get this another step going. So, again, this is not from me. This is from BB, the main developer with Forex on these projects. Next update. The piggy bank state will be transferred to a new piggy bank with numbers adjusted to exclude the snipers. But, we'll con but I'll confirm details at some point later. So basically, it just means you have a new state, things will be transferred, number of people, most people that Forex said 95 to 97% are going to get um, more piglets. So that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. And I'm telling you, just put this stuff in a spreadsheet on a Google Sheet or Excel or whatever, and you're going to see how much this can do. Um, and that's why I'm very excited about this. Um, someone says it's going to take a month. He goes, where do you get a month from? I understand this comment. Forex has said before that if we went a long-term way, it was going to be about one and a half months until the new piggy, new pig pen would be up and operational, but that people would get a nice chunk deposit from the vault and probably even get credited with more pigs for their patience. So Forex did say that from before. I understand where that's coming from, but that's not needed to be, they don't need to do that anymore. Basically, this new route they've gone that with one and a half months, we need to get any kind of emissions from the pig pen is not necessary. So I think that's what he's referring to there and why he said that. <clears throat> now, can you say when you focus on drip and why do we need this lottery? There are drip partnerships in discussion, but I'll let Forex handle those announcements. So we already know Forex has been saying already, there are partnerships with drip. There are things that are going on. We already did something, I think it's some, uh, I forgot the NFT company off the top of my head. I think it's Loot, I think it's called. Um, there's some other things going on with drip and stuff. So there's a lot coming down the pipeline. We just got to get this out of the way. That's all going to be positive news to help the ecosystems. Um, for exit early, the pig pen migration will take much longer. Actually, I just said that. That's not the case anymore. We will migrate all the capital in one row after crediting freeze. So like I just said, that was what Forex said before, but the one and a half months, but it is no longer needed. Um, so let's see what the next update is. Let's say we had a time like a pick in four weeks. Can't say for sure now how that will be implemented. Please hold for more details later. So I'm assuming the question is, let's say we had pig, um, piggy bank lock for four weeks, right? One week has passed. And let's say everything's going to be to start. It's two weeks to V2. Will the timer start again at week four? I believe, and for Forex said as well, he's, Forex did say in a previous update, and I had it from my previous video, I did share it. Um, and I'll put a card up here for you to see if you want to go back to it. But that, Everything starts over again from the beginning. So all your stakes will start from zero. All your stakes and your holding period will start all over again. And the emissions will start from scratch. However, no bots, 
And number two, you will be able to compound daily into partial piglets so that you do not lose your daily bonus rewards from the time lock that you chose. So very important there. You can go back and check it out or try to search some of these, but that's exactly how I see it. Remember, will the price of pigs be the same? Should it be about the same when it reopens and it's really the pigs V2 on pause? You can claim V2 tokens after the claiming period. So once they say that you can have it there and start claiming, they will announce it. Kind of the same like you did here with the redeem. You're going to be able to redeem them up here. If you see in the top left of the thing, I foresee something being very, very similar when we converted our rev tokens to claim the initial distribution of dogs and pigs if you were in from the beginning or if you were in the manor farm. I expect that to be the same. That's just my opinion, but it, it just looks like how they're going to set that up. BSD rewards are not lost, so you don't lose any of the rewards from the pig pen. So I'm sure that's what he's referring to here. Yep, that was right. So yeah, nothing's lost there. There needs to be a about the piglets. How it ain't fair to give those significantly less piglets for people who got it early who are honest buyers. I think we talked about this before, but I will go over it well. There needs to be a balance. Otherwise, nothing will solve. Details will follow. So very, very few people, and it's very few, and I can understand their frustration, got, let's say they put in $500. And, and they bought one of the first, first people that went in right with the bot with a little liquidity. And those people, $500, wind up getting $2,500 to $5,000 credit of piglets. So they've got the piglet amount in their piggy bank as if they had deposited $2,500, $5,000 plus, and they only put in $500. But in $200, some are getting $2,500, etc. So what they're talking to is, again, 95 to 97% of the people are going to get more piglets. And nobody should be able to get a 15, 20, 100x, whatever, for their piglets or for their money going in first right away like that. That wasn't when this whole point of this that Forex had put is that they're going to start with a higher liquidity amount. They're going to take out their bot and that each purchase is going to have, going to have less price impact on the next purchase. So the next person after is not going to have to pay such a high price for pigs, piglets, I'm sorry, and get less, meaning the person in front of them should not have gotten so much of the uh, distribution unfairly and got credited to them unfairly for that. So this is what this is basically saying, okay? That major this, this only going to affect 3 to 5% of the people who maybe got in and got a lot more. I'm not sure exactly how I got credited. We'll see how my distribution, but I'm sure my last ones, as time was going on and I was still going in to put more in, should get more pickups overall. But I still think in the long run, this is going to be huge and I'm not really concerned about it from the distribution we're going to get. Prevents farm from going to zero. Oh my God, locked funds. Token goes to zero. Dev, do something. It's true. You don't lock the funds and we don't pause this entire ecosystem, pigs go to zero, all the money is gone. And as going, oh my God, what do the devs do? It's a rug pool. They do pause it. And it's crying that they're trying to protect 200 plus million dollars. And who knows how many more hundreds will come to follow when this is all done and behind us. So does this suck? Yes. Is it a long time? Yes. But again, keeping in perspective, at least you have your money that is not lost compared to could have just been wiped out from the bot. Okay. So, I'm looking forward to my earnings and returns, and I'm grateful for them doing this. And I'm sure they take, a, again, no good deed goes unpunished, as they say. So let's not punish them anymore. Let's just know that they're protecting our money. No good deed goes unpunished. you got to stop beating these guys up. They're looking out for us. People are just beating them up, and it's unfair. Think about it. They could have just left up any other project. I've seen projects launch on Phantom, on AVAX, brand new farming system. A couple of days later, wiped, gone. The token that started at $5 is a fraction of a penny. That means bots got in, sniped it, destroyed the whole ecosystem, drained all the dollars off from everybody else, and moved on. Next. So let's not beat them up. They're protecting our money. Okay? Uh, I don't know if there's anything else here. No, there's nothing else. I've covered it all. So that's everything. Um, I want to clean this up a little here. Again, I hope you appreciate this. I want you to all have your information. Quick recap, short recap. Um, they're expecting next 24 to 48 hours. The BB said it looks like we look forward to tomorrow. I'm assuming tomorrow they're going to unpause everything. You are going to use the Animal Farm to submit your pigs V1 do it through the site. So you're going to unstake from the pig pen, send them in. If you're in your wallet, send them in. 
you're not going to get immediate credit. It's going to give them a couple of days. That'll probably take for the crediting phase a couple of days as well. And then everything goes live simultaneous as once. We launched Piggy Bank, all the missions of farms and pools, pig pen, everything was, goes back on. Um, we turn those machines back on. All the machines go back on, we're back at it. So I hope you found this useful. I hope this gave you updated information. I really try to give, I know some people have been saying, I don't have time to keep up with this as much. I really appreciate you giving us these videos. I appreciate you sharing with us and telling us what's going on here. Um, so they can quickly just get to what they need and not have to go into these thousands of messages and all the craziness that goes on in these groups. So again, I'm going to ask if you thought this was valuable, please like so the YouTube algorithm knows to get this into more people's hands. Please subscribe. What we want to see and get to the goal, first initial goal of 1,000 subscribers. So please do so. Please comment. If people who've done it will know. I reply to every single person and try to answer a question that maybe I missed or wasn't, maybe you didn't feel as fully understood or maybe point you to where you can get some other information. Happy to do that. Um, so again, please like, subscribe, share if you think it's valuable, comment anything you want, and hopefully we can all come back together again tomorrow. There's some positive news that we are finally submitting our V1 tokens for V2. And uh, see you all next time.